Um, it looks like Meech is about ready to go, so uh, I'm going to pass it over right now to MBY1234, also known as our good buddy Meech. Meech, tell us about that Wizard of Legend. I guess I'm good to go then. <laughs> you are live. Sweet. Well, hey, I'm MBY123, probably more better known as Meech. Uh, I'm here today to, you know, play Wizard of Legend for you, show it off. It's a great roguelike game. Do -do -do. You know, here we're in our little starting area, you know, our little room. Over here, we can talk to this tome named Tomi. You know, pick out some magic for us. We got some basic arcana, which are like basic attacks. Uh, got a dash arcana, fairly self-explanatory. Standard arcana is just like, you know, a wide array of different magics for us to use. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We also got signature arcana, which is like big old, like big old special attacks. Uh, so, you know, we have test dummies here to test out our, you know, magics on. You know, just slam, 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 dash around, summon some archers to attack for us. You can see in the bottom left, it goes on cooldown when I use it. Uh, you know, fire up big lasers. Yeah, very nice. Uh, as you can see in the top left under my health, a uh, little blue bar, little blue bar goes up. That's uh, our signature are kind of charging up. And once it's fully filled, uh, this will help us help me show it off. It'll be a very big enhanced version. Which is more lasers in this case. Uh, down here, we got a little chest named Mimi. Let's just pick from a variety of items. You know, quite a few. The one I have now uh, increases the damage of my signature, so this attack here. Also, if we go over here, talk to Ward. It'll let us uh, pick between a bunch of different outfits that give us various effects. The one I'm using right now is Fury. Uh, if, if you haven't noticed, this one also affects the signature attack, increases the charge and the damage. So, you know, I'm going to be kind of focused on that overall. Uh, now we'll head into, like, the little hub area. Here, you know, uh, here you would buy items that you could, the items that you are able to use throughout the run, uh, or are able to start off with. Over here is where you would buy the Arcana slash Magic. Here's where you buy the outfits. Uh, da -da -da. Over here, this guy, you know, you can buy some cursed items if you want to spice up your run a little bit at the very beginning, but we won't worry about that right now. You know, just kind of showing the game off. Uh, this guy will let you randomize your run, you know. He'll let you, he'll give you a random set of, you know, all the arcana here, a random outfit and a random item. This guy will let you face certain bosses if you want to. This guy will give you let you do kind of like a hard mode version of everything, but we won't worry about that since, you know, kind of just showing off the game for fun. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. You know, we're going to head on into the trial, the chaos trial. As you can see here, like most roguelites, uh, there are, you know, we kind of get a preview of our run, actually. Uh, we have the earth area first, uh, the water area, and then the fire area. Uh, each time, you know, you go through, it'll be different every time. There are five different zones total. Uh, earth, fire, uh, water, air, and electricity. Uh, and each zone, as you can see, is, wow, we're already seeing the boss, geez. As you can see, is like, themed around it. So, since we're in the earth area, you know, a lot of foliage, a lot of plants. And as you can see, uh, a lot of the things around, we can kind of just run into and break, which is great and satisfying. You know, who needs to just, you know, who needs a sword to break things when you can just use your entire body? Uh, and as you know, you break those things, occasionally you'll get money, or you maybe you'll get a little bit of help, if you're lucky. Uh, doo -doo -doo. As you can see, there's, you know, sometimes there's just enemies hanging about, or sometimes you get locked into these little areas that we have to fight out of our way through. 
as enemies, you know, may continuously spawn, as we have to use our arcana to fight out. But, you know, after we do so, we're allowed free. Uh, oh jeez. As you can see here, uh, these guys are, like, kind of clad in green. Uh, in each zone, elemental zone, there are, like, elemental enemies based around it. So in this zone, you know, guys will be in green and will do kind of uh, attacks based on the different arcana you get uh, from that. So a lot of the guys here kind of poison you, or they'll, like, use earth to protect themselves. Uh, da -da. As you can also see, there are, you know, pits in the game, very evidently. Uh, a lot of enemies you can, you can knock them into, or you yourself can either dash or get knocked into them. So, you know, gotta be careful. Do, do, do. Oh, a little dead end with a bunch of enemies. As we'll be fighting enemies throughout the trial, they'll get harder and harder. Uh, starting off, you know, they're not too threatening. Uh, not too bad, but eventually, you know, they'll get faster, they'll get stronger, they'll attack more, all that stuff. Do, do, do. Just break some stuff. Uh, do, do. Just knock these guys into pits, as you can see. Yeah, so like right now, these kind of shadow guys are just kind of, you know, lazily walking towards us. That guy just kind of slams once, that's it. Uh, oh. yeah, just got dodged out of the way. Simple stuff. But hey, on each uh, floor, there will be three kind of shops. This one is the Arcana shop, where you can buy, you know, various Arcana that you might want to start to run. These three over here are just kind of a basic version of the Arcana. Nothing, you know, too special. But over here, there will always be two that are outlined in blue, which are enhanced. So, you know, they're just kind of better versions. And as you can tell, they're more expensive because of that. Uh, let's see. This should lead back here. You can see that here that I can, you know, pull up a nice map for me to, you know, just make sure I'm going somewhere I haven't been. Check stuff out. And, you know, it also uh, gives a little nice uh, percentage of how much of the map I filled out, which is nice. Here we have a little pinata guy. He's kind of like a training dummy, where if we deal enough damage to him, we get a nice little prize. So let's, you know, beat him up. Yo! Watch a burst. Pow. We get a free little magic. Voltic Needle. This one lets us charge forward? Yeah. Good stuff. Uh. Oh yes, also, as you find these little areas, you get to, you know, get a nice little portal for some nice, uh, uh, quick travel. Very useful, very nice. Ow. Oh, but now we're fighting a boss, very evidently. Uh, he will, you know, have this yellow kind of armor looking stuff. And when he's like that, we can't uh, put him in kind of like a stun lock. But, you know, after he attacks, he gives us a nice opportunity to, you know, let us wail on him. And easy peasy, first boss down. Uh, here's, I kind of ignored this earlier, just so I could talk more, but this is the... Just a basic kind of item shop. Here you can, you know, buy items. That'll help you in your run. Uh, let's see. Anything I want to do? Uh, da, da. Oh, hey. Well, let's buy these two. These two items, uh, in this game, there are items that kind of combine together. So this here is, you know, a sprite that will poison enemies occasionally. And, you know, throughout the run, we might find another sprite that may, you know, shoot fire at enemies or freeze some and if we pick them up they all stack into each other which is very nice and you know it'll take up less inventory slots for us so you know we can help hold even more items and similarly this one gives us a little freeze aura and, you know we might find other ones that give us different auras uh, something else to note kind of like other roguelike games is there's kind of synergy items so this one that i started off with the wanderer's mechanism is you can see right after it at the description it says it's the core of the perfect time crystal. So if we were to find that other component, they will combine together to make, you know, a pretty powerful item for us, which would be quite nice. But hey, you know, here it goes to the next part. All right. You know, uh, in this game, there's a little, you know, there is a little bit of 
a story that goes along with it because at the beginning of the game you're kind of just this wizard who's or this aspiring wizard who's going to a museum to look to learn about you know wizards of legend and uh oops. and uh you know just kind of like learn uh, and as you go in there you know kind of an incident happens where you are sent to the past where like the trials are now current there where the trials are taking place and you know you get to participate in them so you know we're kind of you know trying our best to you know make our way through prove ourselves become the wizard of legend you know hey watch yourself uh da -da -da. Let's see here. oh my as you could also kind of see this game has like a it like it likes it's like card motif because you know the enemies will spawn in like on cards and you know all the arcana are on cards and all that uh this guy he's a nice friend who will uh take one of our uh standard arcana and then shuffle it up and give us an option of five that we could uh, then further pick from but since you know i kind of like the arcana we have now so i'm gonna just stick with the ones we have not worry about it uh, something that you can probably kind of notice is that, uh, much like the enemies, we ourselves can get, you know, stuck in it and, like, stun lock and, you know, uh, potentially get comboed and take tons of damage. Big thing about this game is that if you're not careful, uh, you can definitely end up, you know, going from full health to, you know, maybe half health if you're not too careful. Oh. Hey, watch yourselves. Oh yeah, these little red orbs that sometimes will appear are, you know, nice little health orbs for us. You know, nice and tasty. Uh, also, forgot to mention earlier, but every basic item store comes with this healing potion. It's always 100 gold. It'll heal you for 200 health at the beginning, but each time you buy it, it'll heal you for less and less. So, you know, you gotta be kind of careful. Mm. We'll just buy that just in case, because that could give us a nice little... Synergy item, which would be nice to show off. Let's see. Oh yeah, throughout this run, you'll probably notice me picking up uh, some some of these like purplish crystals. That's kind of like the basic uh, roguelite uh, currency of the game that allows you to you know customize your runs a bit, make it better. Uh, in this game, instead of, you know, maybe enhancing your abilities and stuff, you're just allowed to start with different items and different magic. So, like, in that starting area that you saw, uh, I would be able to buy the items that I'm buying at the shops currently while I'm in this trial, and start with it if I so choose. And, you know, also able to buy uh, different arcana that I could decide to use if I had fancied them when I had done a run. So that way, you know, always switch it up a bit, or, you know, if you particularly like a setup that you have tried, you know, keep using it over and over. Do, 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 do. Gotta be careful here because of all the pits. Oh yeah, as you can, you might have seen uh, in this game, I'll buy those. No, I can't, don't have money. Oops. Uh, in this game, there is, uh, you can destroy enemy projectiles with your own magics, which, you know, if you use correctly, can be very useful. So, you know, if you're good about or if you're just, you know, spamming buttons, you know, could potentially save you just happenstantially. But hey, gotta head to the first boss. Uh, at the beginning, or right before a boss, you know, there'll be this nice little health crystal you can break, get some health, just in case you're low, like me. And hey, here we meet the first guy, Earth Lord Atlas. I hope your trip here hasn't been too Terra Bull, because you're about to get crushed. A lot of these guys really like their, you know, puns and play on words. Uh, but similarly to the bosses we've been seeing so far, these guys will uh, uh, attack a certain amount of, or unlike, you know, the bosses you've been kind of seeing at the beginning, or at the end of the levels, excuse me, uh, they will attack a certain amount of times before giving us an opportunity to attack ourselves. This guy in particular, since he's the first boss, will attack uh, three times before he let us attack him back. Kind of crushed him a little bit there. I should have read what he said, my bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, once they get down to half health, they'll use their own signature attack that if you're not careful about dealing with, uh, you should, you know, probably 
be careful about it. But every time you beat a boss, uh, they'll leave by behind a chest and give you a free enhanced arcana. Ar enhanced arcana, excuse me. Hey, first boss down, or first elemental boss down, not too bad. So we head to the next elemental area, which is ice slash water zone. Uh, in here, uh, or since there are a lot of elemental enemies, you know, this game is very elemental based. A lot of the elemental enemies here, which will now be blue, will be, you know, weak to certain elements. Uh, as such, the guys here are weak to electricity. But also, because of elements stuff, they are they have their own resistances as well. So the blue guys here will be resistant to <clears throat> to fire. Which, you know, makes makes sense. And they'll also be resistant to their own element, so you know. They'll be resistant to water as well. And this also goes for the bosses as well. So, you know, if you want to, you can kind of strategize as you go through the world, or go through the trial, excuse me. Uh, over here, there's just kind of a free item for us, you know? Just take it. Got greased boots. Why are, these, why are the boots so greasy? Greased up the boots. Oh. Careful. Something else you might may have noticed is that... Uh, well, I've been talking about elemental stuff. Uh, this, These, like, purple arcana that I've been using don't really seem like they have, an, like, an element attached to them. That's because they are chaos arcana. They're basically, like... Just super strong arcana. Uh, they always deal just kind of flat amount of damage to enemies, you know? Uh, and something else special about them is that uh, unlike other arcana, you can see here that this one, these two, kind of have a basic text and an enhanced text. So, you know, uh, they have currently have the enhanced versions, but uh, these chaos ones don't actually have uh, any enhanced version. They're just, you know, always going to be whatever strength they are, which is already, you know, pretty good because, you know, get to just fire lasers all the time, which is, you know, lots of fun. Ooh, here we have a cursed item shop, you know, or not really a shop, but a cursed item place where we get to potentially pick up an item that'll give us a great boon, but, you know, kind of a pretty big downside. Hmm. Hmm. You know, let's uh, let's do this one. Give us some more crit, but also or more crit chance, but also let the enemies potentially crit us more. You know, sounds like fun. Oh, there's also an item all the way over there if you can't see in the mini map, sort of in the center. Um, de dum de dum. These short hallways are dangerous. Oh yeah, also now. Ah. Uh, stop. As you can see there, you know, an example of if you're not careful, you can definitely lose a lot of health from just, you know, uh, getting stunlocked by enemies. Very dangerous. Don't recommend it. Ooh, uh, hmm. We're gonna buy this because it's very nice. I'm gonna buy that because it's also, I think, another one of those that stack. Yes, nice. Oops, running into a wall. Not nice. With these boss rooms, you may have noticed that uh, there are these skulls here. Throughout the when you're going throughout the level, the more enemies you defeat, means there are going to be less skulls here, which means there are less ads that you have to deal with during the boss fight. So, currently there's only one extra skull, so that means there's going to be three enemies instead of just two. And you know, if there were all three of those skulls, there would be five of these ads. You know, trying to mess with me as I'm taking out the boss. Yo. But, you know, this boss, a little bit of damage, but overall, easy peasy. Not a problem. Get some health back. I'm gonna backtrack a bit to get that item and, you know, explore the rest of this map. Uh, let's see here. What's this do again? Yeah, with some donations right quick. yeah go ahead. Five dollars from Mega Freak 400. Heading to bed. Good luck with the Wizard of Legend run, but this towards protecting Shack Tool if he needs love. And then ten dollars from Big Pix. Uh, no comment, but he said that's going towards killing Shack Tool. <laughs> Damn, dang, dude, it's rough. Ah, yeah. uh, into the pit I go. Lasers and electricity and more lasers. 
Oh, oh yeah, as you can see here, these shadow guys now kind of occasionally will sprint at us instead of just walking casually. Sort of example of how the enemies get harder. That's very easy to see. Uh, but yeah, this is that floor. This is this floor done. So let's head to the next. As you can see, the game kind of gives you a bit of a score at the end of each level, but not worried too much about it. Since you know, kind of just here for fun, just having a casual time. Do do do. do. All right. Oh yeah, as you can see, as we go up through the levels, you know, there are occasionally these pictures on the wall. Uh, some of them you might, you know, you might notice are kind of like of actual, kind of like people. That's because they're, you know, the when this game was, you know, being funded on Kickstarter, people could, you know, donate and have their nice little portrait of them put up in the game. Oh jeez. Oh, lasers. Hey, why aren't you done yet? There you go. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, like this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Just an actual guy here. Um, <laughs> watch out for all of these guys. These ice guys. Don't want to get messed up too bad. I'll throw out some of these levels, though. There will sometimes be environmental hazards, like, you know, those explosive barrels. Uh, or, you know, maybe the spike pits that you've occasionally been seeing. But, uh, you know, uh, sometimes there's also uh, traps based on the areas. So, you know, in this icy place that we're now in, there would occasionally be potentially, like, little freezing traps that'll, you know, stun us in place, or... Like little icicles that shoot out. Uh, those are, those are, you know, very dangerous. But most of the environmental traps in the game can hurt you, but also as well can hurt the enemies, which is, you know, kind of nice. Uh, we don't want anything here, so we're just gonna pass, keep on going. Let's see. Uh, that's sorry a to interrupt me. It seems like we're having some uh, audio issues. If you could turn my volume up on your end. Turn your volume um, up. You got it. People watching the stream couldn't hear me. Should be good now. How's All it sound? Right. Um, let's see. Test. Am I good? Yes. Test. Test. Hello. Is William sounding good? Elden Ring. <laughs> oh. How could you distract me with Elden Ring? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, sounds good. All right, I'm going to read back those donations again. So we had $5 oh, from Mega Freak. Heading to bed. Good luck with the Wizard of Legend run. Put this towards protecting Shaq Tool. He needs love. And then $10 from Big Picks. Uh, there's no donation message here on my dashboard, but he wanted to put that towards killing Shaq Tool, which is it's messed up. Unfortunate. You can ride a horse in Elden Ring. <laughs> Something else to note, though, as we keep going through and, you know, dealing with more bosses, they will also get improved kind of movesets. So usually, like on the first floor, that guy would maybe shoot once and then be done, but here he kind of shoots twice, so we gotta, you know, wait a little bit longer to strike back. Uh, let's see. This lady here will take an Arcana from us and give us some money, but we don't want that because Arcana's pretty good right now. Also sells a cheaper health potion if we, you know want it or need it but you know we're doing pretty all right uh i don't want that oh excuse me uh this is pretty good regen health when i crit enemies uh, i don't really want anything else here but the entire map it is okay on to the second boss uh you know now that we're on the second boss uh She'll attack four times before giving us an opportunity to properly strike back ourselves. You know, facing Frost Queen Freya. It's too late to be getting cold feet, because I'm about to freeze you in your tracks. Yeah, is that so? I don't know about that. I don't. Uh, for her, I'd honestly say she's probably the easiest boss out of all of them. Oh, I say this, of course, I get hit. 
you know, classic. But also, you know, kind of destroying her still, as I get destroyed myself again. Jeez. <laughs> but her signature isn't too bad to dodge, so long as you're moving uh, when it's happening and you have kind of enough space to generally be able to avoid all of it. Should be here. Just kind of shoots out a bunch of ice towards you. Just kind of run past. And you know, as she's last at us, you know, it's her own folly as she is defeated. Not bad. You certainly know how to stay cool. Ta ta for now. Stay frosty. Easy peasy. Ooh. That's a fun one. We're going to put that there. As you can uh, see in the game, I. You can hold up to seven Arcana total. So right now, I have six active ones, and one that I can, you know, switch to if I ever so choose. Maybe, you know, you want to do some tactics and take one along with you that might be good against a future boss or something like that. But, you know, who needs tactics when you have lasers? We'll say overall, uh, aside from the Chaos Arcana, I'd say that the Electricity Arcanas are probably some of my favorites. They tend to hit a lot, you know, make you go really fast, you know, fun stuff like that. Uh, we don't really need anything. We are just, you know, we're doing good. Ain't got no worries in the world. Uh, da -da -da. You know, just kind of shredding through these enemies, no problem. Oh. Get back here. Uh, as you can see, sometimes there will be these purple-clad enemies that are that are like kind of just harder variants of the basic enemies. Sometimes they can, you know, oh, do some special stuff, but you know, not gonna let them do that. Now let's see, this guy is a bit of a pain, but should be fine. Oh, oh, hey, oh. lasers, lasers. This guy tends to summon a lot of adds during his fights, but it shouldn't be a problem since we can, you know, generally ow, stay pretty far away. There we go. Not too bad. Crushing it. Uh, ooh, there's a battery up there. Interesting. Do, do, do. Uh, gosh, there was something I was going to mention. What was it? Oh, well. Uh... But yeah, oh yeah, also, along the lines of uh, the Arcana, you can... Ow! Ow! The Arcana so you can pick up. Uh, you can switch out your dashes and basic ones, but you can't store those for later, unfortunately. So you know, kind of have to make those decisions on the fly. Oh, this little furnace guy here. Oh yeah, also, since we're on the fire area now, you know, very obviously a fire area. Lots of lava, kind of like forge aesthetic. Oh, as I... Oh, take all the fire damage, but thankfully could heal off of my crits, kind of saving me. These guys here, you know, pretty obviously are weak to ice slash water. Ah. Resistant to uh, fire itself. And something else I can't quite remember. Hey, let me out of here. Hey, get your fire out of here. I ain't set up for this. Okay. This guy, if you pay him 100 gold and a uh, little bit of your health will improve the current outfit you're wearing so now on in so now i will uh charge up my signature even faster and uh deal even more damage with it which is very nice uh oh yeah since this is a roguelike and you know it's kind of a trend with them uh this game has been you know updated quite a bit from since it was uh first released Originally, it was just actually these three areas that I'm going through, the ice, uh, fire, and earth zones. But uh, as it went on, they added a... Uh, doo -doo. Sorry while I read. It, uh, they added uh, an, an air place and an electricity place. And along with those places, you know, there's their own bosses, their own aesthetics, as well as they added uh, even more items and uh, Arcana, which is really cool. Like I said, I think overall this is like a fairly underrated roguelike game, because I think it's just a super satisfying one to play. You know, you can, like, you can kind of 
you can kind of mindlessly mash buttons and do pretty okay. But you know, getting to you know flashily use these different magics and just destroy enemies as you do so is just such a good feeling. You know, you might have to be a bit careful and not go too crazy, or you're gonna get wrecked yourself, but you know, we're doing okay here. Doing alright. We're surviving. Oh, uh, that's a dead end, so we'll teleport. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Hey, watch. Oh yeah, also, I can mention that occasionally you'll see these little, the numbers be highlighted in red. That indicates, you know, when a crit happens. Sometimes the nor numbers will be orange. That in that indicates that, you know, that's that enemy's weakness. Uh, da -da -da -da. We don't want any of this. Or, actually, that's just good. Oh no, that increases cooldowns for enemies. That would make everything take slower to charge up, so never mind. We're just gonna, you know, leave those cursed items away. You know, we don't need them. Say no. Oh. But yeah, you know, being able to just... I think this game is just super satisfying. Not enough people have played it, honestly. It's, uh, you know, you got your Isaacs and you know, your Gungeons and stuff like that, your Slay the Spires, but this one's just like, kind of being able to just dash around, shoot out magics, just too good. Cool. And also, I will say that uh, overall, it's a pretty cheap game right now. I believe it's like 15 bucks on Steam. Also a part of the roguelike humble bundle going on right now, which is pretty cool. If you want to pick pick it up, you know, you can. Uh, hey, watch it. Uh, and it's also two-player, only couch co-op, unfortunately, but, you know, if you got someone nearby you want to play this game with, it's pretty fun. Uh, I think this is... Yeah, this is another aura, so now... Now that we have two of the auras, they've combined together into this Power Stone pack, you know? And it contains the two aura little items that we have. So that way, you know, we don't have to carry multiple of them. It's very nice and convenient. Uh, where is the boss? Let's see, perhaps down in this corner? No, just more basic enemies. Uh, da -da -da. Watch yourself. Da -da -da -da. Come on, where's this exit? I guess it's a lot closer to the entrance than I thought it was originally. Do, do, do. Of course, another, of course, another dead end. Come on, we'll find it. Where's the boss? Let me at him. That one little guy is just on his own. What the heck? More lasers. Uh yeah, oh yes, yeah, right here. All right. What? Get out of here. You're not a boss. You're not part of the boss fight. Oh. Don't mind me as you know. Casually just mash all of my buttons all at once. As you do. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. Stop that. Easy peasy. And hey, now we head into our <clears throat> last elemental boss fight. Uh, this one will take. We'll do five attacks before giving us an opportunity to counterattack ourselves. And here we're fighting Flame Empress Zeal. Are you warmed up yet? Because I'm bringing the heat. She's a little bit tough because you know she's pretty quick with her attacks and they're you know pretty big AOEs. So you got to be on your toes if you're not careful. She'll you know kind of combo you a whole lot. Oof. Stay away. Ow. Ow. Get those fire balls away from me. Oh. Just mash all of my buttons. Don't mind me. Her big old signature attack is going to be a bunch of meteors that are going to be really big and hard to dodge. Uh. Eh. And shake the screen a lot. But we did it. We're good. We're fine. Oh, I didn't hit her soon enough. She started attacking again. Hey, watch it. Watch it. Get out of here. All right. Easy peasy. Oh, shoot. Well, hope you can keep up the streak. Cheers. Uh, we're good with what we have. Let's go. We're on to the final area. This last little area is kind of just like a, not really boss rush, but kind of like enemy rush. 
you know, kind of have more of these, like, shadow guys coming at us. Have to deal with a whole bunch of them before we're allowed to see the final boss. Oh. Over here, two guys will spawn at a time. Not too big of a deal. Pretty easy. You know, when we're this strong, it's not bad at all. Hey, watch. Let me out. Oh, what the heck? Get out of here. There we go. We have to deal with these little oof, guys before fighting another one last final mini boss. This guy's not too bad. Just, uh, you know, kind of wreck him real easy like. Oh. Oh. Easy peasy. You know, we get a nice little final shop before the final boss fight. Uh, we can buy one more item. Uh, oh, that's pretty useful. That's actually also very useful. La di da di da. Don't mind me as I casually shop. Uh, what don't we need? We don't need that. Let's drop that. We'll just, uh, you know, pick this up instead. Uh, we're full health. We don't need to buy that potion. Final boss time. Let's go. Master Sura, congratulations on getting to this point, but no wizard has ever managed to best me. This is the end of the line for you as well. Now, let us begin the final challenge. He takes us to this nice space arena. This guy, you can probably tell, unlike the other bosses, uh, you know, uh, our opportunity to attack him only comes when we defeat, you know, this giant armor that he has. So we have to wail on it. Until, you know, can expose him himself. And he'll, you know, just keep on using all these different chaos attacks on us. And, you know, because he himself is chaos, our big lasers and all that are... You know, he's resistant to it, which is, you know, a little bit unfortunate, but overall, it won't matter. He'll go down easily enough. Not bad. It seems I have underestimated you. Let us begin a true duel between wizards as we start phase two. So now, similar, similarly to us, he's going to dash around a whole bunch and start using elemental attacks of all kinds. He'll always finish it off by using a chaos attack. Oh, goodness gracious. Then he'll, he'll finish it off by kind of dashing away, making it a bit hard to get an opportunity attack on him. Oh. Oh. You can also, you know, also with all these bosses, you can, you can still occasionally hit them, even though you're not... Uh, they're not going to be staggered by it. But usually it's best to uh, save your attacks for when they're vulnerable. So, you know, you get those guaranteed hits. Oh. You know, doing pretty good. Still got over half health. You're going to hit me. Oh, oh ow. Oh. Hey. Ah, oh, shoot. Hopefully I don't die here, that'd be a little bit sad. Just dash out. Summon our archers to help us out. Shoot lasers! Okay. One more go around might be enough. Oh! That hurts a lot! But, you know, we did it. Oof. Hey! You know, that's a, that's a basic run of uh, Wizard of Legends, so, you know, enough with, this level of, enough with this level of skill and power. Without a doubt, you are worthy of becoming a Wizard of Legends. But enough talk, we must celebrate to make the occasion, to mark this occasion, sorry. Boss defeated. Look at this, look at all these people here cheering for us. Look at all these smiley faces, look at those hearts, we're number one. You know, 10 out of 10. You know, look at these guys, they helped us, even though, you know, didn't really talk to them too much. And hey, here's all the bosses. Congratulations on accomplishing what very few have been able to achieve. This is the Insignia of Legends. It is a mark of distinction awarded to those who have cleared the Chaos Trials. Take it as a testament to your skill and as a reminder of your accomplishments. Very cool. 
In addition, you have proven yourself worthy and capable of wielding Chaos Arcana. Take this Arcana and show the world the might of a Wizard of Legends. Nice. The, the, uh, the Insignia is also your key to returning home. Your interaction with the Insignia from your time appears to have linked our two worlds. I have prepared a special teleportation altar up ahead. You will be able to use this Insignia there to return to your time once you are ready. It was a pleasure to meet someone of your skill and talent. You know, now we get to talk about the bosses and, you know, these three that we didn't get to see throughout the run. Uh, a breathtaking performance. Any doubt of your skill have been completely scattered to the winds. You did it! Way to go! Quick thinking and quicker reflexes always light the way to victory. You really live, live up to your potential. You've proven yourself to be a fine wizard. Wizard worthy of legend, even. What an electrifying adventure. Well done on your achievements. Keep a, keeping a cool head in the face of an abs in the face of absolute chaos has served you well. You've an unbreakable resolve. Granted determination and perseverance has granted you this triumph. You know, now we uh, prevent the ins per present the insignia. Some credits would roll here, but you know we're gonna skip over those, unfortunately. You know, but they, you know people made this a good, great job. You know, hey, we're back in our original time. Hey, excuse me, are you okay? We're not sure what happened, but the section is closed for cleaning. But don't worry, some of the old, some of these old artifacts still have a lot of magic in them, and these things happen from time to time. The rest of the exhibit is still open, so please uh, feel free to continue your trip. You know, we get uh, get to return through. You know, we get to see how we, our stuff for our run. This is, I guess, the total time for our run, you know? How quick we did it. This is, you know, the cloak we wore, the item we started with, the Arcana we started with. You know, these are the people who helped us on our journey. The merchant, the cursed item guy, the clothing guy, the pinata. These would be the other four, you know, if we had uh, taken help from them. Here's the other Arcana that we had also. All of our items that we had along our journey. And uh, hey, these might be, you know, descendants of those... That wind guy and those electricity guys from earlier. But uh, yeah, overall, you know, this has been Wizard of Legends. You know, hope you enjoyed watching because you know, it's a fun game. If you haven't tried it, and, you know, you want to, you could try it out. Uh, I don't know what else I need to really do. <laughs> well, that was an awesome run, me. She could have fooled me because that 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 felt more like a speed run than a showcase. You you displayed some impressive impressive pro gamer skills thank you thank you uh we got a 20 dollar donation from jack garland <laughs> did somebody say chaos <laughs> also put this towards saving shack tool thank you jack garland much appreciate it we gotta I'm go a big chaos oh mm. uh, yeah just switch, switch me on over whenever you're ready take me away thank you meech <laughs>